Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to continue to plug away on the tank. Um, my tank, I guess, is a loose term. That's adequate. I want to be able to put... I can't put a block there. Um, so I want a bit of armoring that goes where the turret is. So I almost need to take this up one block. That's actually going to make my life easier if I do that. So, I got myself an idea. It ain't a bright one. But most of them usually aren't. So, um, let's give this a go. Okay. Uh, the other way. There we go. Alright. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy, we're going to go over there, and we're going to lock on to the turret. Then, I'm going to disconnect the turret and rebuild it. So instead of having to rebuild the whole entire turret, shenanigans shall ensue. Um, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, just like so. Too much. Friends don't let friends fly inverted. Okay. A little, a little, there, there, oh, yep, perfect. Okay, now I just roll forward. Park there. Okay, so now we'll come up over here. And we're gonna disconnect the hinge. Oh. This is right as an orc ship will attack. Detach. Perfect. Right, climb back in here. Just lift a roo. That can just hang out there a second. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put a gap there. So let's go to, I think I have one over here. No, I'm about to. I'm going to put one of these shenanigan holding things in there. So, uh, we need a large grid to large grid spacer. Yep, just like that. Cool. Okay, so then we put the hinge back on there. Like so. And we just drop it back in there. I'll have to reassess the uh, turret controller, but that's fine. And this is where the shenanigans will happen, if it's gonna. Uh, well, here we go. Piston head already exists. No, I want to add, attach, not add. Perfecto. All right, cool. Wait, is there? Ooh, cheeky peek. All right. Go put you back. We get another orc ship come in. Uh, you're going to be the. Oh, hey. I can go move B70 now. Come on, slut. Ah. Uh, just a touch more. There it is. Nine docked. Okay. Let's get B70 moved. Oi. Oh, I didn't see this. Uh, did it clip through or f break through? I think it's clipping through. Yeah, that's a problem right there. That's a really bad problem. <sighs> okay. So let's get you out of the way. This is not what I wanted to do today. But that's a problem that needs to get addressed. Because that is Clang just saying hello. Let's get you... 
Wow, we are he heavy. We're going to need to get docked here. And offload. We are really full. Well, let's go pick up some more stuff while we're at it, since we're, you know, insanely overweight right now. Come on, get down there. All right, you just chill there, bud. Okay, settled down. Whoa, I thought I was walking. All right, you just chill there. Let's go see if we can get this guy moved. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Dampeners are on too, which is, oh no. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, um, so I have to go fix where we're stuck so I can get free of that. The disadvantage to ships this size is that this kind of stuff can just magically happen and the game's okay with it. It looks like we're clear. Let's get into a chair. No, we are not clear. Ah, oh, that's a lot of momentum. That's a lot of mass. So, early on, I was stating that uh, I need a better perch for this because reasons. Well, those reasons were just presented. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, uh, military escort, icon, and parallax. All right. <sighs> A carrier has definitely seen better days. I'm apt to now just go park it back over the hole again. Again, this is not what I wanted to do today. All right. Uh, hold on. I don't need, uh, no, I don't need these. It's a waste of resources. I thought I had re-blueprinted. Uh, let's check our F10 menu. Can we do that in here? Oh, we can, okay. Um, Number of blocks, 37,869. Well, that's going to be way off because... Oh, geez. All right. Well, looks like I'm going to have to do a bunch of rework. I didn't want to. I mean, we're missing a rail gun even. All right, well... I'd rather have the hull back together. So let's go with that. Yeah, because it's an old blueprint. Let's put the TVs back on the sides and yeah, it's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go get B70 over here. That's a great way to offload a lot of his inventory.
All right, get to work, guys. Um, geez, I can, yeah, I need to fix this. So, nine G. Turn this. Remove this. Offense. There we go. Show area, please. Show area on off. There we go. So nine. Better. Okay. All right. That works. Okay. Uh, thanks, B70, for your contribution. Okay. Okay, so while that's getting fixed, let's go get back to work over here. So the reason I wanted to do that is this adding this block is now I can turn around and do this. I'm gonna have a portion of the turret that turns with the vehicle. Okay. Uh, comments from last episode. Thanks, guys. I appreciate them. Keep them coming. Uh, I guess some of you guys are pointing out that. Uh, Depression is important. I'm not arguing that. Depression is very important. It is a strategic advantage in any armored combat. Uh, there was actually uh, some video footage of a recent conflict. Uh, you guys can do the research and figure out where that conflict is taking place. Where it was a tank from 10 years ago versus a tank from, you know, 40 years ago. A uh, tank... The older tank was a bigger tank, and it had no depression angle, so it wasn't able to shoot on the newer tank. <laughs> and it was at a massive tactical disadvantage. They were face-to-face -to, -face to one another, and the smaller tank literally was able to just skirt and get out of the way and take some cheap, cheesy shots. So, yeah, a tactical advantage for, for armor, yeah, it is all about... getting every advantage you can um there are tanks that do utilize their suspension to gain those advantages um so if they can use the terrain first and then their suspension that's great but there are tanks that do use their suspension as a tactical advantage to be able to get that depression angle so yeah it's it's a it is a legit thing I think I want to, oh, oh, uh, it was pointed out that I messed up. Uh, timer block, depression down, still had a, one of these had a delay still. So that could have been the deciding factor as to why it was working or not working. So let's give it a go. So let's see, eight. Now the timer blocks still aren't triggering. Hmm. All right. So let's go K. Uh, we want to go to controller, right? Event controller, rotor displacement. Block on off switch to set up action. Displacement up start, displacement down start. Okay. So start either or trigger. I want to be triggered probably. Let's try that. So eight. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not. Okay. It's not working. So uh, event controller, rotor displacement. Block is switched on off. Um, Altitude angle changed, block damage. This should do it. Um, 
Let's take that back off. Let's see. Yeah, those timer blocks are not working. It's okay. Depression down, delay zero, zero, well, nil. Setup action. Uh, depress stop. What if I turn it off? Turn block off. Oh, now it's fighting. Ooh. No, I want you to, so, okay, turn block off. <clears throat> and trigger now. Yeah. Right? Oh. Okay, so that's what it is. We need off and start. So, okay, no. Uh, so I need to turn our block back on, right? So no, I need to go to here. Hold on, hold on. Event controller, rotor display, setup actions. This is to turn on. Or turn on. Because it's gonna it's a toggle, right? So this one's gonna turn. If I turn this one on, it turns this one off. If I turn this one on, it turns that one off. Yeah, okay, that's correct. Okay, so now I'll go back to timer block. One of you is off. You. Okay, setup actions is going to be turn that block off and start. Okay, so now we get to go to the other one. Turn off. Decrease and start. Okay, so in theory, this should work now. So eight. It does. Okay, my timer blocks are switching. Um, how many actions do I get in my timer block? This is kind of irrelevant now that I just lifted the turret though. I still want to get it to work. Remove, okay. Uh, can I add multiple of these? Increase uh, rotor displacement, no. Um, so let's see, it's be, put that back, where, now I'm going to leave that there actually. So then I need to do, trigger it again, right? So we are on toggle down, off, toggle up, displacement up, here, trigger now. So we want it to cycle, we want to click, 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 right? Because I can't do multiple trigger nows either. So, okay. Um, let's go to the other one. Setup action. Trigger now. Okay, let's get right out of here. Get as close as I can. It's not working now. Okay. Ah, this is so annoying. I didn't want to do this either. Okay. 
Okay, so event controller, setup action. This is right. Uh, that's right. So it's in the timer blocks. Displace down, setup action, zero, zero. Oh, I want them both to be silent. All right, so. Trigger, I think this still needs to be start. Displace down. It's only going to do one increment, though, I think is the problem. So. Okay, this should be it. So, eight. Now it's broke. It worked for like a minute, and then, I, yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so I want to do this real quick. Uh, so, boom, boom. All right, let's get some plating on this. Eight. I love it when they go flying off in the distance sometimes. Most of the times I don't know he's blah out of me, so so every once in a while it does seem kinda cool. <laughs> Alright, so we get this guy rocked back down. Um uh, boom. Right of the way. Okay, so those hinge plates are in the way. So I wanted to check. Oh, that controlled grinding is so nice. That needs to be vanilla, not gonna lie. Okay, better. So now we should be able to bring that down flat. Um, I like it. Okay. So that's that. So now this gives me an opportunity to shape around this, right? Because now I know where this is going to be. So a case in point would be to do something like this. Oops. I'll take that one back out. So six. No, actually, hold on. I'm wrong again. Yes, I know my inventory is full. All right, so seven. Okay. All right, so we know we can get up to here, right? So And then with this bad boy Like that. Okay, so I think we're going to do this guy here. If I can rotate correctly, I'll bring you back around. Yes, that's what I'm going for. So I can bring this shape up. 
and greeble it around into the side of the cockpit. So probably about right about here. I would like it to be one block forward, but I think that's where it's going to end up being anyway. No. So actually this comes out, this moves forward. I have this backwards. So about to here. Yeah, and then the next block will be a slope down. So this can actually come out. That's going to be way better for uh, the sake of functionality, getting out of the cab, and yeah, I like that. It looks way better. Okay, so yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. We'll continue to plug away with it um, between episodes, hopefully less distractions. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for being here. This is Avic. Have fun. Thank you, gaming.